So those of you who watch my videos more frequently are probably aware that I prefer building on smaller lots. And today we're going to build on the smallest lot in the game, which is actually one of the secret lots. And to access it, we have to go through this tree here. And if you want to check it out yourself, you can basically follow what I'm doing here. So first you want to view the tree a few times before you get the option to water it. And there will be more and more options available. Next we're going to water it, even though it's raining. And now we can uh, talk to the tree. No welcome wagon. Thank you. I'm not sure what happened here, but once the entrance is open, you can click on it and explore the tree. This is actually some kind of very easy riddle because you have only two answers. There is a wrong choice every time. First, you want to follow the sound, then follow uh, downstream, then you want to enter the mist. And then we're gonna travel too Glade because we don't want to get back here to Willow Creek. This is the secret lot, it's called Sylvan Glade. I've never been here before today, I think. As you can see, you can't build here at the moment, but there's a cheat you can use to edit all lots. So we're gonna type in BB enable free build, and this should allow us to build here. It's only 15 by 10, so it's very small. A lot you can actually not change the lot type so I'm not sure what I want to build here but I think we should go for some type of house I guess so we're gonna get rid of the pond first apparently there are no different times of day here I'm just gonna put a box here for now why is it so purple is everything purple here inside it's fine I'm not sure what this here is but oh it's 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 a fish it's still here because we removed the, the pond it should be it should be gone okay <laughs> it's gone okay so today we're gonna do this differently we're gonna do the floor plan first okay this is gonna be a small cottage so we probably won't have more than two rooms maybe a, a separate bedroom so we'll have the main living area here with the kitchen and the bathroom i think i want this to be on a hill so maybe we should do the hill first so we're not gonna do a symmetrical house i think i want to have some kind of patio area somewhere around here should this be a two-story building i don't think this should be a two-story building maybe we can add a small kind of tower here let's do a three by three we're gonna use a ladder here because there's no place for a staircase it's gonna be the bedroom we're gonna build this for just one sim so no double bed in here so this is actually a bit bigger than i wanted it to be but we're gonna roll with it for now Okay, don't work on the exterior, we need to do the floor plan first. We're gonna do bedroom here, the kitchen area, living room, and we're gonna add a small bathroom here. Alright, layout done. You know what, I'm actually not sure if I can see any colors here because it's so pinkish. Should we get a different type of roof? I kinda like it. I think that's what we're going for. We're gonna make this a bit more curved as well. I hope this roof here doesn't clip. It isn't, but this one here, is. I think that's fine. Yeah, we're gonna keep it like that because I, I like how it looks from the outside. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with that actually. I want a small porch area here. So we're gonna add a platform here. So I'm not sure about the material I wanna go for, but I think it should be partially brick or stone. Maybe stone is better. Maybe I just can see, but are there no wooden roofs in this game? I think we're gonna go with the shingles here. I swear I can't tell what color this is supposed to be. I think we could use this trim here. Yeah, I don't like how this here looks, but we're gonna keep it for now. That's the set on a wall pattern. Maybe we should use one of the get together wall patterns to try this. I think that's quite nice. We can work with that. So one simple trick when you're building, uh, use columns for every build everywhere. They add detail, they make the house look better in my opinion. I wanted to use the one from Werewolves and it appears that the wood is kind of similar. I think this should be a wooden deck. I can't see what color this is supposed to be. I don't think it matches very well, but for now we just keep it. We need a door next, maybe go with this one here. I'm not sure if it fits because we have the columns here, maybe we should remove them for now. Yeah, I like the door, but now same problem, we don't know what color it is. This is supposed to be green. I can't see the green. Maybe I have to go inside and, and check. So dark, we're gonna need some lights in here. I'm not sure if we should use the green door. Okay, maybe I should check everything inside first so I can see what it looks like. I think we should use windows from the same expansion as the door. And this one here is probably, yeah, it's cottage living. Or maybe we use these green windows here. I kind of like them. It doesn't really match. Is there a different swatch for it? There's a similar one, which is a bit smaller. Matching green swatch, perfect. Maybe we could do some kind of custom double window. I think this could work if we can center it. Okay, I like it. I like it. 
Uh, let's change it to green. It's not green, it's gray. <laughs> but it kind of looks alright, so we're gonna keep it. We need more windows. Not too sure about the green. And maybe we should go for a different color. Should we just have white windows? I don't like how it looks in the light here. I don't like that the roof is going through the window here, so we kind of remove the window. I think we need a door here. I just want the same color. Maybe just add the same door here. Okay, we're gonna need some roof decoration. Okay, we're gonna change the color to, I don't know, I can't see anything here. Maybe just keep the black one. Doesn't match very well, so we go with green, I suppose. Okay, we're gonna add a chimney now. Maybe we should try to figure out where it's gonna be inside. I think the chimney should be here. Yeah, it should be here. We're gonna put it here, so we're gonna get rid of, no, we're gonna put it here, so we're gonna get rid of this one. No, I don't like <laughs> Oh no. So I think for now we should work on the interior because I can't really do anything outside since I don't know how the stuff looks. So we're gonna make this match here and then I think we're gonna make the outside match the inside. And this way, big brain move, we should have something that looks good in a different lighting as well. I want a fireplace, but all those fireplaces here don't really match. So I'm, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use. I need a very light one as you can see, as you can see, we I need one that matches the wall. I think this one here is probably the best, but it's a bit too big, so we're gonna size it down. I'm now sure that I don't like this flooring here. Maybe we should make everything darker, so we can use more of the dark wood tones. I like this flooring here, but I'm not sure if there is any swatch that matches. No, it doesn't look good. We're gonna use this one here and make everything else match. Yeah, I think we can start to furnish. We have the same problem as always. This door is in the way, this window is in the way. I'm not sure where to put the kitchen area, to be honest. I want to have it here. I think we're gonna have the dining area just here. Let's see if we have a nice table. I feel like we're gonna use a lot of werewolf stuff in here as well. Okay, let's go for the essentials first. We need a kitchen. Okay, we need some old fashioned counters. I like these here. I don't use them very often, but they're, they're quite nice. I think we have to remove this door here because I, I kind of like where the kitchen is now. And then we have a dining area here, living room here, and this is the bathroom. So we're going to need a door. Kind of matches. We need a darker one. I think we're going to keep this door here. We're going to get rid of the windows. I like how they look, but I don't like the color. I think we should use a different one from Cottage Living. I would prefer a wooden frame. We have a dark brown swatch here. We do. I'm not sure what to put here. Maybe this one. This one kind of works. We're going to keep it. And we're going to put our dining area here. We need a small table. I want to have a flower pattern. Oh, uh, let's keep it neutral for now. Should we use the chairs that come with Cottage Living? I really like this one here does it actually fit here maybe we're gonna use it later on there is a different one it's kind of straw padded this is the chair i was looking for we're gonna keep this very dark so since we're getting rid of all the green elements here i think we should get rid of the door as well i think we're gonna use this one here okay i forgot that we need a way to get up here where can we put it this is awful okay here that's a good spot, I think. You can have some decoration here. I want to have a more rustic bed. So we're gonna use maybe one from Cottage Living or maybe the werewolf's bed. I think it's a bit too shabby looking. I kind of like this one here. I'm not sure about the color. So let's put some light in here. I think this kind of works. Okay, I think this is the color scheme we're going for. Lots of dark browns and we're gonna break it up a bit by adding lots and lots of plants and flowers outside and inside. I think I want to furnish the bathroom next so we don't have a lot of space. I don't want to put a shower in here, but I think we can't really have a bathtub in here. I'm not sure what my mouse is currently doing. I think I like this bathtub here, but we don't really have space for a toilet. It's actually bothering me a bit. We don't have space for, for a sink here. Should we do a separate room for the toilet? We could add a small room like this here. I think this could work. We could put a couch here. Not sure about this. I think we need a lot. I'm not sure if this fits in here. Let's see if there is a swatch that actually matches everything else. I kind of like this one here. Okay, we need a toilet. I think we just go with this one here because it kind of matches. Let's see if we can make it a bit darker. Perfect. We're going to keep the toilet here in a separate room. This way we can have a sink in here. There should be a sink from College Living Right. I feel like we need a rug here. I feel like I'm gonna use the one from uh, Werewolves, the shabby looking one. I think it should have a more neutral swatch. I'm not sure which color to pick here. Let's finish the kitchen first. Okay, we need a sink. I think we're gonna use this one. I think this matches quite well. What else do we need here? This feels kind of empty. I think we should go for a larger 
dining table. Okay, we're gonna go with this one here. We need more chairs here. And I think we're gonna have to move this a bit for the fridge to be functional. We're also gonna need an exhaustion hood. I think there are not that many great exhaustion hoods. There are some modern ones. This one here is good, but not for this build here. And it also has no swatches. Okay, maybe use this one here or we use this one. And then we need some cabinets. Maybe we're gonna use the ones here from, what is it called? Uh, Country Kitchen Charm? Country Kitchen, whatever. Okay, there's no shade of brown so we're gonna go with white i think this could look good if we put it on top i wish it, this was brown the same shade of brown as the rest here Let's see if it works looks all right okay if we put this right here we can still put some decorations on the fridge i'm not sure if i like how this looks okay i think i like how this looks <laughs> i'm not too sure about the rug in my opinion there are not that many great rugs in this game i like using this one here it looks a bit more realistic in my opinion okay as you can see i connect the porch with the patio area also we get rid of the still foundation because i think this will look better with all the plants around i also had a small pond here i think we're gonna need some stairs to access the house i'm not sure if i want to go with brick or stone i think we should try it with first this matches quite well okay i can move this over here so i think we have to shape off a little bit of the hill this seems to work and let's add some fences and some railing we're gonna use the fence from cottage living here i'm gonna change the wall pattern here we're gonna add this broken stone wall here this is a debug object i like that you can place them at the border of the lot which you can do with fences i wish we could move the whole build to the back but there is no space left because the fence is really close to the stairs i think i want to add a tree next and we rotate it so it won't clip it's not clipping perfect we're gonna keep it here Okay, let's add some flowers. I'm gonna add some dirt here because I wanna have some flower bats here. We're gonna use these planks here as a frame. We wanna add some mushrooms as well. I have no idea if these flowers are actually matching, but they do here. Let's add more, more moss. As you guys know, I really like landscaping. I think we should add some flowers to the wall as well because this one is a bit bare. We can place a window here, trying to cover the foundation as well. Maybe we should weave in some ivy as well. Okay, let's add a toilet window. I might want this still foundation back. Okay, let's add plants. I want this to be completely overgrown. I think I want these hatches on the back side here. I think I want to add some planter boxes here. I'm not sure if there should be plants on the roof as well. Additional details. Maybe we could add a small awning here. I'm not sure if this is the same color as the trim. Let's add some lights. Okay, let's add some terrain paint, but we gotta be careful here to make this look natural i think we need more shrubs and flowers i need to blend this in so we're gonna add a lot of plants here i think there should be enough bushes around here let's add some more flowers we have to clutter these wall racks here don't forget to add a trash can where are, where are all the books some blankets in a basket uh we also add some canisters also gonna need the rat shelf to put stuff on the fridge i think i have all the objects i want to use here why is this floating let's add some wall decorations here this is kind of empty we need curtains back outside adding some tools and right here okay i want to add this here i want to put plants on top of this i'm not sure if we should add more kind of empty here maybe rotate it that pattern you want to keep it like this i can't find anything that fits here i want to go with portraits but i don't know i think i found the right one this one here could work not a big fan of the frames here let's do the kitchen first we can't put anything up here because it's almost at ceiling level i think the kitchen is almost finished here i want to put one more plant here I need a small one i think this is my favorite plant from base game so we're gonna put it here i was looking for fireplace tools but i can't find them oh got them i'm pretty sure there's a matching firewood rack but i can't find it we gotta make our own i'm gonna use firewood here it's good enough okay let's add a pergola here not sure about the color maybe turn it around okay i don't like the curtains here i think we're just gonna add more lights and then we're basically done i think there should be some entertainment here we should use this gramophone here i think this works i'm gonna keep it simple more plants plants everywhere okay i think that should be enough plants i think we're done here okay now the moment we all have been waiting for okay okay it's not too bad i like it i think it works i'm gonna put this on the gallery if you guys want to download it i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did leave a like consider subscribing if you want to see more see you guys next time peace out